Hello, comrades, and welcome back to Shanka Show. Здравствуйте, дорогие товарищи. My name is Sergey, and I was born in the USSR. If you're interested in the Soviet Union, I highly recommend a channel called Ushanka Show, which is a YouTube show about a guy who lived in the Soviet Union and then moved to America. Uh, he talks about life, what life was like under the Soviet Union, and it's very fascinating. So... In one of my previous videos where you talked about the Soviet coins. So now let's take a look at the Soviet paper money. And there's a several words being used. Bills, paper notes, bank notes. And I would like to point out that today we're going to talk about currency that was in circulation in the Soviet Union from 1961 till 1991. So in 1961 we had a monetary reform, also called Khrushchev reform. And... Uh, they performed redomination and exchange 10 old rubles for one new ruble. And before we dig in on the topic of the Soviet paper money, you need to keep in mind that the average salary in 1980s was about 150 to 180 rubles per month. Один рубль, one ruble. That was our smallest bill, and it was actually the smallest bill, literally. I'm not sure why, but Soviet paper bills were all different size and all different design and all different colors. So they all look different. In contrast, if you look at American dollar bills, the old same dimensions, same size, same pretty much design, same color scheme. It's only difference you have a different faces of presidents or other famous people. And on the other hand, if you look at the Soviet paper money, the old bright colors, pretty much all colors of the rainbow, and comparing with American dollars, which are dull and green, we had pretty bright colors, although Soviet life was kind of gray and dull. And now back to our program, and we're going to talk again about один рубль, one ruble. The design, more like color scheme of the one ruble bill, is actually what gave the Soviet currency the nickname деревянная, or made out of wood, or probably the best translation will be woody. And it's very hard to compare the value of Soviet ruble to American dollar because due to government intervention in the economy or government total control of the economy, a lot of prices were subsidized while other prices were ridiculously high, like uh, car prices. Now, dimension-wise, if you look at the Soviet ruble versus American one dollar, our money look like monopoly money. They're so tiny. And just to kind of get a comparison, if the average Soviet worker was getting 150 rubles per month, and maybe like at present days, average American makes 1,500 a month. So for Soviet consumer, every Soviet ruble was kind of the same what 10 American dollars for American consumer. But I would like to point out, on the top of the one ruble bill, it says, Государственный Казначейский Билет, State Treasury Ticket. So which means... It was government-owned treasury paper money. It didn't belong to private Federal Reserve like here in America. So for one ruble, you could purchase uh, two bottles of Soviet-made Pepsi. That's 45 kopecks each and have some change. And we actually had a total of five bottling Pepsi plants here in the Soviet Union. One of them was located in Kiev. So one ruble bill, that was kind of money that your parents might give it to you to run to the grocery store to buy some milk and bread, some sour cream. So that was one of the most popular bills. And it wasn't that scary to lose, so like $10, right? Next bill, three rubla, three rubles. So this bill was a little bit larger than one ruble, uh, quite attractive design, uh, pretty green color. And on its back, on reverse, uh, in the little uh, box, uh, there's uh, different languages that repeat the same uh, three rubla words, but in different languages of the Soviet Union. Like, goes tri karbovansi, so that's uh, in Ukrainian, then tri rubli in uh, Belarusian, and then goes uch sum, uch som, and so on. Three rubles, so that's like equal to $30. That was uh, quite a bit of money. And it was almost enough to buy a bottle of vodka. So this is how the, it works, that three guys will split the cost and then they'll split the bottle three ways and it's enough to have fun 
but not enough to get completely wasted and, and not make it home. Or if your grandma babushka feels generous, you might get three rubles for your birthday. Three rubles always reminds me about this uh, silly incident that happened to me and my friends many, many years ago. One time when uh, me and a couple of my friends, and we were now like 15, 16 year olds probably, uh, we went to the uh, Central Republican uh, Library here in Kiev, and uh, we saw the new girl uh, that started working there at the library, and she was very, very pretty. And I mean, uh, we were, you know, shy geeks, but since there was three of us, we kind of got brave and started uh, hitting on her, um, acting silly, and she looked at us, smiled and said, you guys are as green as three ruble bill. And that was very embarrassing. Okay, so we are moving along, and next bill is пять рублей, five rubles. When I think about five rubles, I always uh, remember uh, this is our neighbor lady. Her husband was heavy drinker, so they never had enough money to make the next payday. So she would quite often uh, ring our doorbell and ask my mom to loan her five rubles до получки until next uh, payday. And for five rubles, you can get a kilogram of the premium cut meat at the bazaar or a couple of kilos of average quality meat. And usually meats were like double the price at the bazaars versus uh, meat at the state-owned stores. And quite often we had no meat at the state stores. Our next bill is 10 рублей, 10 rubles. And it had a nickname, Chervonets which it comes for the word Chervone, red color. 10 rubles will be enough to take your girlfriend or your wife, but not both won't be enough, to the Soviet restaurant to have a meal and some drinks. Okay, our next bill is 25 рублей, 25 rubles, четвертак, or a quarter. If I recall correctly, my grandfather's Sergei pension was 25 rubles per month and my grandma's was even less, only 12 rubles per month, since they were collective farm workers and they didn't have official salary, when they calculated their pensions, uh, they pretty much got the minimum uh, pension in the Soviet Union, as many other collective farm workers, колхозники. Next bill is 50 рублей, 50 rubles, or полтинник. 50 rubles was a lot of money. Uh, when I was a college student uh, back in 1980s, my stipend was 50 rubles per month. And finally, the largest Soviet bill, 100 рублей, 100 rubles. 100 ruble bills as well as 50 ruble bills, they weren't in that wide circulation because that was a lot of money. And for a regular worker who makes per month about 150 rubles, usually getting paid with 10 ruble bills or 25 ruble bills. So those bills, I maybe hold my hands four to five times in 20 years I lived in the Soviet Union. 100 rubles will be enough to have a pretty decent vacation for 10, 14 days at the shores of Black Sea. So you just uh, set some money aside and when it's time for you to have your vacation, 30 day paid vacation, you can utilize 10 days and get some 10 down south. Okay, so I decided to make actual video to show you comparison size-wise between American dollar, and check it out, I got two dollar bill, how about that, and Russian ruble. So when I opened the package that came from Chechnya, I ordered hundred of one, hundred, one ruble, three, five, ten, and twenty-five. I was like, man, those are tiny. That's what she said. So you see, it's way smaller than a dollar bill. Way small. <laughs> it's so small. Never thought it's so tiny. And then you got your three ruble. A little bit bigger, right? So. And then you got five rubles. Uh, five rubles looks like about the same size as three and it's interesting check it out i mean that's for people who are into the paper money collectors look the serial number on the three and the one ruble on the front for the five ruble it's in the actual in the back it's kind of strange i didn't have paid attention to that before then you got your 10 ruble chervonets so it's definitely bigger than five 
not much, but it is, right? And Chervon, it's the same way, so numbers in the back. And then you got 25, same thing, numbers on the back, actually in two spots. Okay, so 10 and 25 serial number they put twice on its back, which is, doesn't make sense. You should have one in the front, one in the back. And this is what I was uh, telling early in the video. This is what it looks like uh, when they uh, have uh, one ruble in different languages. First, uh, after Russian, один рубль goes in Ukrainian, один карбованец, then Belarusian, один рубль, бирсум, бирсом, and it goes and goes in um, many languages of the Soviet Union. And I'm not sure if you guys can see through the light. Here it goes. I think I got the right angle. The watermark is actually stars. I think on a yep on a 50 and uh, 100 it's actually Lenin. You could see him, but on the smaller bills it's just stars. I think three rubles like the best looking for the color combination and a picture of the Kremlin. And I said this is a type of 1961. Now in 1991 they changed design slightly. Like so five rubles, for example, you see they got extra colors. So it looks slightly different. So this is 1991. This is the last issue before Soviet Union uh, collapsed. And it's way more multicolored in its back. I guess they were fighting kind of fate money. And kind of similar situation. They had a upgrade in a 10. So this is our new 10 from 1991. We can pull this one original one right here. So this is the original one. So they made it more complicated to kind of fade in the back. Looks different too. So this is 60, 1961, 1991. But I think the same watermark, yep. And kind of similar. I'm not sure if they ever did the three. And also, they I think they did 25. And another new thing they did in 1991, they added 500 ruble bill, which we never had before. We only had up to 100. Uh, so yeah, this is the difference between American dollars and uh, Soviet. And another interesting detail, I don't know, if you guys in collection paper money, you should be aware about these little stars. It makes dollars rare. Uh, I never seen that on the Russian uh, bills, never seen a star or anything like that. There's something about if they replace the note uh, with the same note, they just put the star in the end, as far as I know. So yeah, it's a quite a, so this is an American $1 uh, versus Soviet 1 ruble, huge difference in dimensions, huge. Huge, huge. Okay, my dear comrades, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you learned something new. As, as always, I would like to thank everyone who supports my channel, patreon.com. It's uh, very, very appreciated. And we'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye.
Hey, by the way, the cool merch for cool comrades is available at the Ushanka store at the teespring.com. Just a friendly reminder that my book American Diaries is available on Amazon.com or shoot me an email if you would like to have a signed copy. Thank you. And if you love my channel and would like to show your support, please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Ushanka show. For as little as one dollar, you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet 